found. This time. Hi friends. Happy Tuesday. <laughs> it is our dream team chat. Is this our first one for February? It sure is. So this is our first dream team chat for February and we are diving into Sensi systems that um, come as a part of being a consultant with Sensi. We talk a lot about other systems like follow-up systems, yeah. tracking systems, um, dream team lists, all of these systems that like on the consultant side of things have been created for us. But we today and all month long actually are going to be diving into the systems that Sensi sets up for us as consultants to really set ourselves up for success. And I love that because um, one of Sensi's core values is simplicity. And so having these systems already developed for us one gives us a leg up as a consultant to be able to share with confidence and move in our business with confidence, knowing that we have systems on the back end to help keep us organized or things running smoothly. Love that. But then over here on the leadership side of things too, I also love that because it allows us as leaders to then share with our teams, these awesome systems that again, we're not having to create on our own. Um, and it will help our teammates businesses run smoothly as well. So, um, I love that since he does so many different systems for us. And as the month goes, we will really dive into, um, most of them or, or all of them really, uh, the, the amazing programs and systems that since he has, but today we are talking about maybe the most used system of them all. Um, certainly, in my opinion, one of the most valuable systems that we have um, in our toolbox and just an amazing value for our business. And that is our website. Okay. Um, we call it the PWS over here on the consultant side of things. And what that stands for is personal website. And your PWS is really just the most amazing hub for your um, customers to um, browse and shop and for us as consultants to reference. Um, and there's a whole slew of amazing tools that we'll get into that your PWS has for you to use in your business. Okay. Um, very simply though, it is just such a valuable resource that comes at a low cost for us as consultants to utilize. Um, if you're a new consultant, then you get the gift of a free website for the first three months, which I think is so generous of Sensi and such an awesome way for you to really get your feet wet and experience all of the amazing things that the website offers for you. Um, and it's only $15. It's $15 a month after those three months are up. And so if you have been with Sensi for a while, you are likely paying that $15. Um, I think with cost, you should reference that now. Oh, now? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. After that part. Um, so $15 is just like literally nothing compared to what it would cost to build your own website and manage your own website. And so actually before, when we were writing our notes, we were actually doing some research on what it would cost to build your own website. And from the low end of things, if you were to do everything on your own, meaning you're taking um, your own pictures, pictures yeah. you're writing the own, your own descriptions, you know exactly how you want it to lay out. You're doing everything. It said it would be 500 to a thousand dollars a year to do that a year. Okay. That's if you were doing absolutely everything. everything yeah. Okay. But if you want help, if you want to hire help to help you build a website, the estimate was, um, 5,000 up to $20,000 for a small business. Um, since he is not a small business, our products are not small. We have a ton of different products. If you think of all the different pages that you have on your website, maybe even up to a hundred thousand dollars a year for your website. Yeah. Like it was talking about like up or 10 pages and up, you're looking at a hundred dollars per page. So when you yes. think about how many pages since has, like you put, and it takes you to all. Yeah. It's like page uh, after page after page. <laughs> Um, incredible. Yeah. Like what a value for us as consultants to yeah. just pay $15, $15 a month. And then on the back end of it, being able to write it off for our business expenses. Okay. Yeah. Surely we could write off $20,000 for business expenses to create our own website, but why do that when we have this amazing option? Well, then you'd have the headache of like, uh, think about the things that go wrong with our PDF, PWS yeah. from time to time. Right. 
Yeah. Think about the headache of having to try to deal right. with the hiccups that yeah. come with technology and because then, they will come. Yeah. And then just think the whole order process right. system, linking it to then your workstation yeah. would just be a nightmare. And so I am so endlessly yeah. thankful that we have the opportunity to purchase our website through Cincy and Cincy does the maintenance on it. They upkeep it. They update it. They've added so many amazing new features that I'm sure cost an arm and a leg over on the IT side. And thankfully, since he is footing that for us and we pay $15 a month. So honestly, the cost is just beautiful for us. And again, we get to write it off. And so I'm trying to do the math to see. So you, if you were not a certified consultant, so a um, essential consultant, you would need to sell $75 a month to cover that 15 dollars you nice. get 15 dollars yep since it doesn't even pay you out at that point but but it would accumulate it would accumulate yeah. and you'd be able to pay it so but truthfully speaking less than 75 dollars because you're getting paid more if you're a certified consultant or so like the cost what you have to sell to pay for your pws is pretty minimal it's we're like looking at like two orders we're looking at two six packs of wax yes you guys so just, just so you know, like the, yeah, the, the cost of doing business for our yes. personal website is so low, yes. but the benefits are, are, are huge, so, are huge are and huge. so much. So yep. we're going to get into that. Um, okay. So I wanted to share my screen just to show you guys some things real quick. Okay. Um, okay. Stop here. Okay. So here is our workstation. McKinley text us what's going to tell me. And then let's go to our accounts tab of the workstation here. Okay, so this is what you're, okay, so here we're on the workstation. This is not your website, but the um, workstation, or you set up your PWS on the workstation, okay? So you'll go, go to the accounts tab and you'll scroll down. Here you'll see personal website. You'll see that I'm subscribed and I've picked my username. Now you can change the username. I would just caution against it if you've been with Sensi for a while or if this is the link that you share um, because obviously then your marketing stuff is out there. So, um, you, but you can, you can change it if you want. This is where you update the card, okay? And then if you are wanting to update your website. Edit personal website name. Here? Yep. Okay. So we are able to completely customize your website, which is really cool. So you can put a photo in here and I highly recommend everyone update your photo to a, a picture of you or your family or whatever, and not that picture of the girl holding a buddy that we don't even offer anymore. Okay. And the new, sorry, the new season, when seasons change, that's a great time to remind yourself to do to that. refresh it. Yeah. Yep. Absolutely. Okay. So you can update your picture, which is what your um, people are going to see over on your website. If you see, I toggle over to my website and you see on the top left, that's where my picture is. Okay. Back on the workstation, you can tell your story. So I'm talking about why I joined and what Cincy has done for me. Okay. You can also update your join page. So, okay, let me just go back here to tell your story. Okay. So this is where my story is. If you click my name up here on the website, and then it will say right here on the bottom left, my story. And so it will have all of that info that you customize on the workstation. Okay. This actually makes a huge difference when you have people who are interested in learning more about you. they just stumbled on your website or they're interested in joining. Okay. So you can update that on the um, workstation under this um, account tab. Okay. Then we also have the join page where again, you can add an image and then a message. Okay. You'll find this on your workstation, on your join page. When you scroll all the way down, it's going to have your picture and a little blurb, which I think is so important. Okay. So it'll have your story. And then again, you can pick what you're warming in your home. Again, great time to update this is at the beginning of a new season because a lot, all of these bars, I think, man, maybe white amber antique stays, mm -hmm. but cashmere and corduroy frosted vanilla, those are being discontinued. So I'll need to add two new bars. That way um, my customers can see that when they go to my site. 
Um, and then if you are all into analytics, which I wish I was, but I am not, um, there are codes and things here that you can plug in and do that. I'm not, so I cannot train you on this. Okay. Um, but that is on the accounts tab of your workstation. Okay. Also on the accounts tab of your workstation, I want to show you that we have what's called a cross border agreement. Are you signed up for the cross border agreement? Mm, only in region one. Okay. So I too am enrolled in the region one cross border agreement. What this means is that I am able to sponsor and sell in the United States, Canada, and Mexico. That's region one. Region two is in Europe. Region three is in Australia and New Zealand. And so this is a really great way to grow your business globally. I used to live in Canada. So I have a few um, Canadian customers. I, at one point I had a few Canadian teammates and to be able to service customers in Canada and recruit in Canada, I needed to sign this cross-border agreement. What this does on my website is it gives me a Canadian website or a Mexico website. So if I click Canada and then I can pick the language, now all of the prices are going to be in Canadian US dollars or Canadian dollars, okay? So the prices are a little bit higher. And then also you could switch to Mexico. Nope, switching to Spanish. Oh, shoot. <laughs> there we go. You can see the prices. Wow, Shoo. that's shocking. <laughs> yeah, that's <looks> shocking. <laughs> okay, so that is um, through the cross-border agreement. I'm not able to sell or sponsor um, outside of the United States without signing this cross-border agreement. And so I think that's very important to um, just mention in case you do have friends or family who live in Europe or Australia, New Zealand, uh, Mexico, Canada, okay? Now I do wanna say region two and region three, we cannot sell to, okay? We cannot sell to Europe, Australia, and New Zealand. We can only recruit, okay? So if you know people in those regions, certainly try to recruit them, okay? Um, and you would need to subscribe there. Um, that is $5 a month. Or actually, I think they just increased it to $7 a month for the cross-border agreement. But it's super valuable because then your website is now accommodating for all of those um, locations and languages, okay? Um, and then also a cool thing, having a website um, is being able to go to your parties on your workstation. Let me show you. I have a ton of open parties for my consultants or for my customers because I love doing personal shopping links. And um, what you can do is like that. What? Nothing. Oh, I know what you're laughing at. <laughs> is you can link it to your website here where it says online party page. Would you like your party on your personal website? It says no at the beginning. You toggle it to yes and you set up your party page. Okay. What that does is over here on the um on your PWS is it creates and pulls those parties over to your website as well. Okay. So you're not only having to enter the orders here on the party page right? You can enter them over here or your customers can shop over here on your website too. Then they're able to also click this share party, copy the party link, and then share that with their friends and family. So there's tons of amazing ways that we over here as consultants can work on our workstation. And then it transfers over here to this beautiful, amazing Sensi website that is great for you as a consultant to reference um, and even shop from sometimes, um, and then also for your customers to shop from. Okay. Um, so yeah, that's what the amazing PWS is and all the amazing things that it can do. Um, but Bree's going to take it even further into some awesome tools that our PWS allows us to do. Yeah. So um, Alex's main focus was the consultant side of things, right? With a little bit of like, this is what your customers can do with like a link to their party and things like that, which is really great, but uh, not, but it's really great. In addition to all of that, right? We're looking at what can our PWS do for our customers. And so these are the things that I focus on with new consultants when they're asking about, um, 
you know, why do I need a personal website? This is kind of what I'm focusing on because as a new consultant and as a consultant period, we're looking at what's the customer experience, what are our customers gaining, how do we build a business with our Sensi if we, what does it look like to build a business with Sensi without a website, right? And so there are a lot of things that you'd be missing out on, unfortunately, if you didn't have a website. And again, we talk about that fee of $15 is so minimal when you think about all these things that can happen just because you pay that $15 and you are active as a consultant. So right off the bat, your ability to get new customers is, um, 100% wide open with a uh, with a PWS. And the reason being is because, first of all, your PWS can be shared by anybody. Um, and so they could be giving it to their neighbor or posting it on, you know, sharing it on a buy sale trade site or whatever, right? Your, your site has the ability to be shared. Um, and then that brings in traffic. But then also, when you become a lead consultant, when you promote to a lead consultant and are getting paid at title, okay, so that's a very, um, that's a clause that I want to make very clear is that you mm -hmm. have to be paid at title as a lead consultant um, to show up on what we call the consultant locator. So what happens is, is, and this happens to me frequently, actually, and even by customers that shop with me, but they'll go to sensi.com and then they will choose to type in their zip code. And when they do that, it populates those consultants in that area who are lead or above being paid at title. And then they can choose that consultant to shop with. Okay. So if you are talking about a cust or yeah, a customer who does not have a uh, consultant who she he or she is loyal to and they just decide to go to sensi.com sensi prompts them to find a consultant there is no way that a person can go shopping for sensi and not pick a consultant okay so um, you want to be among the ones who they get to choose from and the only way to do that is being a lead or above being paid at title um, at least lead uh, being paid at lead. Um, so when they pop, when they type in where they live, their zip code, or they can even search you by name. Okay. Which my customers sometimes do too. Um, you come up and then they can choose to shop your website. So I get new customers like this all the time, all the time here in Texas. I have met a few of my customers this way because they have searched in their area and have picked me or I was the only choice and have chose to shop my website that way, okay? You cannot get a random new customer unless their link was given to you, given to them by somebody um, if you are not coming up on the website, but they can't, they can't find you. They can't search for you. So if Betty Joe, who taught you in the third grade, wanted to come shop your website, they would not be able to if you did not have an active paid for website. Okay. So your ability to get new customers um, and be found on the consultant locator would be non-existent without your PWS. Mm -hmm. Okay. So that limits your growth because I promise you there are, there have been countless opportunity or countless, countless customers who have found me from that. And there are lots of stories out there of people who have, um, been found on the consultant locator where a customer spent hundreds and hundreds of dollars with them. Truly like some of my best customers I've never even met in real life. And I've started that relationship with them through the consultant locator. Like I'm talking, have ordered thousands of dollars with me. And since the time I've met them yeah. through the consultant locator, yeah, like incredible opportunity to expand your customer base and increase Yep. your um, PRB. And yes, that is exactly how I met you. Yeah. And so, and other people on my team, oh. that's also how you recruit. Yeah. Yep. Which is my next point. Um, so without, uh, actually, it's only random people, right? Because some, you could have somebody join by doing the host kit. Right. Okay. Well, I mean, no one would be able to sign up with a $99 kit. Right. Okay. So um, 
So joining, having, having people join your team, right? As a consultant and for a customer, it makes the experience a lot easier when they have the option and the opportunity to one, be able to join using the $99 kit. So what we were just talking about was you can have people join your team essentially without a website. However, their only option would be for you to be able to do the work on the back end by doing the host kit option. Mm -hmm. And then they would only be able to join under you using the $59 kit, right? Um, so there would be no possibility for somebody to, first of all, randomly just decide, oh my gosh, I like, I like this person's story. So I'm going to join their team using the $99 kit, which has happened to me. It's happened to Alex. Mm -hmm. Like there, there would be none of that, right? Um, and so having people join your uh, team and for you to be able to grow your business like that would be severely limited. Again, we're talking people that you know, people that you've had conversations with. The only um, way that you'd be able to have them join is using that $59 kit. But the second part of that is the information um, that comes with and this is across the board, right? Our PWS is just full of information, right? It's got the descriptions, it's yeah. got the pictures, it's got um, things, uh, it's Info. got informational yeah. value, right? And uh, uh, greatly so when it comes to the join opportunity, you go to the join page and it breaks down, they've done a really fantastic job at breaking down what you get in your kit, what it means to get PRV, what it means, what it looks like to be a consultant, like your people can just go to that join page and be fed information straight from the source and have the answers that they need. Mm -hmm. But without that PWS, they're not getting that from your site. Mm -hmm. Sure, they can go to somebody else's. But if you're trying to have conversations with people about joining, you're mm. going to have to rely on the information that you have um, to be able to relate to them. And they're not going to be able to read it for themselves on your page or um, experience clicking that join button. Like all of that stuff may seem very trivial, but in the grand scheme of things, it makes it easier for us as consultants to be able able to reference the join page and send people there. I know that Alex has started doing that and myself included. When people are asking me about certain questions about joining, I just send them to the join page because Sensi has already done that work for us in mm -hmm. terms of information. Um, and the same can be said for a lot of different pages on our PWS in terms of information. We can just send our customers there and let them digest the information the way that it was intended, which is what Sensi is spilling out there. And if they need clarification, of course, they can come back to you. Um, but the PWS is just like brimming with information um, and beautiful pictures and all of that. So, um, but joining, again, you'd be severely limited in um, what you'd be able to offer your potential new teamies, which is a, uh, it's a disadvantage in my opinion. So um, the join thing is a big one. The next one we kind of talked about, uh, Oh, we were talking about it in the housekeeping, but Sensi Club. So this is a big one. Uh, your customers would not be able to join Sensi Club with you if you do not have a PWS because they have to be able to go to your website to click the Sensi Club button to then enroll or manage their account. Mm -hmm. um, and so uh, we were talking about on the Monday Power Hour about how I have like now, because I've had like two more go... So it's the seventh of the month and I have like 350 PRV already just from Sensi Club alone. So imagine if I didn't have a PWS and I wasn't pushing people, not pushing, if I wasn't pulling people into Sensi Club, <laughs> beating people into Sensi Club, um, if I didn't, if I wasn't pulling people into Sensi Club, right, and getting that residual P, uh, PRV, my business would not be growing at a I'm not gonna say rapid rate, right? but my business would not be growing at that um, consistent steady. Yeah, rate. yeah, a consistent yeah. organic steady rate, right? And not to mention that when we consider how valuable Sensi Club is for our customers, right, for them to be able to get their bar, mm -hmm. to get their consumables on their schedule, um, we're taking that away from our customers as a big part of what Sensi offers in terms of auto shipment. Um, we're we're taking that option away and, and that's not fair to them, but then as a consultant, it's not fair for us. We're literally leaving PRV on the table mm -hmm. by not having our customers have access to the Sensi Club. Okay. So point blank, your customers would not be able to do Sensi Club with you. And let me tell you, 
If you have it, if you don't have a PWS and you're like, ah, I can do without that, blah, 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 whatever. But they find out about Sensi Club, they will go join Sensi Club with another consultant. They may come back to you for their six pack of wax every once in a while, mm-hmm. but they will be doing Sensi Club with another consultant. Okay. And so again, that's leaving PRV on the table, point blank. Yeah. And you're opening your customers for consultants to build relationships with them at that right. point. Right. Which, you know, like we talk about, it's, it's not, it's not about a competition type mindset at all. Right. But when we talk about giving good customer service and building relationships, you want to make sure that you're giving yourself the best opportunity Mm -hmm. to be able to have the, that experience with your customers. And when you take Sensi Club off the table, um, it, even if you're not talking about Sensi Club right now, even if it's not your greatest push, at least the opportunity is out there. At least when your customers go to your website, that Sensi Club button is there and there's the opportunity that they could stumble upon it. Or that if the conversation happens to come up, you have an easy accessible link that you can give them. And again, the Sensi Club button has so much informational value, right? It breaks down exactly what Sensi Club is, mm-hmm. the way that it was intended to be digested from Sensi itself. Okay. So um Sensi Club is a huge, huge missed mark if you are taking your PWS off the table. Okay. So don't do it. Um another one we just experienced this last month. Last month? Yep. Oh my gosh. Yeah. Last month, flash sales. I mean who won the jackpot with flash sales last oh my gosh, month, right? So good. so good. Your customers not, not able to flash, so shop those flash sales or you for that matter. Mm-hmm. So if you're like, man, I made out like a bandit, you wouldn't be able to shop the flash sale because the flash sale and some of our other things are not available to be purchased on our back end in our workstation. So when you're like, oh, a flash sale. Oh, I don't have a website. Your customers aren't shopping. You're missing out on PRV. Mm-hmm. Imagine if you did not get the PRV that you got from the project. I don't care if it was only 50 PRV. You're missing out. Yep. Right. And also redemptions too. Right. Re- yes. Yeah. So the Cinderella castle, anything that Sensi comes out and says, um, you can um, put down a $10 deposit on this particular LTO or this particular item um, and then come back and redeem it later your customers would not be able to do that. They have to be able to go to your website. They have to be able to create an account and they can only check out on their web, on your website when the time comes. Mm-hmm. You cannot do that from your workstation, okay? So again, Disney Castles, who sold those? You would not be getting that PRV had you not had a website, okay? So pre-sales, redemptions off the table. Um, something else that came up today bring back my buddy voting, right? So fun. Bring back my bar. We're experiencing the tail end of that. This, uh, this, uh, I was going to say year, the tail end of bring back my bar experience, right? Started in January. We're catching the tail end of it. We just had voting. We're bringing back my bar. In January. Yeah. Cause the winners just got announced last week for June. And so that voting is only available on your website. Yes. Yeah. So they can't, they can't vote. You can't vote. Right. So all these cool opportunities that Sensi, that that's the thing is that like, I think that Sensi really tries to help us see the value in these things by promoting these items as a way for our customers to have a really great experience and for our customers to get um, the most out of the experience because, and it takes the pressure off of us, right? Because if, if Sensi said, okay, we're going to allow voting to happen on your workstation so that everybody without a PWS can still participate. Imagine the pressure, right? Imagine the stress that consultants would be under when they're like, okay, I've got to go vote every single day for my, my customers, Betty, Joel, you know, you've yeah, got that'd be stressful. so stressful. Yeah. Like it takes the pressure off of us as consultants to have to do, um, or feel like we have to do all that work on the back end. where right now for bring back my buddy, we can just say, Hey, go, go vote. vote. Here's buddies. the link. Yeah. Here's the link, right? The direct link, um, that costs Sensi probably hundreds of dollars, you know, right. thousands of dollars. Um, so voting, any type of voting, any type of, um, customer experiences that Sensi wants your customers to be a part of, they would not be able to be 
a part of. And you may think that that's a throwaway, but in my opinion, it uh, it's another relationship building mm -hmm. opportunity, right? Because when your customers are voting for their buddies or voting for their bars, and then you're asking them, what did you vote for? I love that scent or that buddy is so cute. I hope it comes back. And then it comes back and you're like, yes, Sally, you know, like those yeah. are moments where relationships are built and yeah. friendships are blooming and for your sure. customers are experiencing the relational side of this business while still in turn having a really smooth um, virtual website experience, which is um, so sweet. Okay. And so don't, don't take that away from your customers. Don't, don't take it away from you. Um, and then I, I've touched on this a whole bunch, but the information and um, the different landing pages that Cincy has, right? So like when you go to your website and right now, Cincy has, has made it. So the last chance thing is the first thing that you see, right? They want customers to know, they want customers to be able to not miss that there are things going away click here, super easy, right? But then they scroll down and they see the bring back my buddy. Then they see the Valentine's Day collection. And then they go to the Valentine's Day collection. And it's this beautiful display of everything that's left, right? And then they can search it and um, filter it the way that they want, right? Mm -hmm. All of that information, all of those landing pages, all of those things are we, we just click on buy them right now, right? We are, we're just so used to like just bleh, 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 doing what we're doing, but we really need to take time to appreciate that all those things are there for a reason. And it's to make the experience for the user as easy and um, uh, user-friendly as possible, but also like to give them information and to get them shopping, to get them engaged and excited. Um, Anyways, and so all of that to say that um, there is a great deal of uh, value that comes with just being able to take people to your website and let them have an experience that Sensi has already created. I was thinking, oh, um, I was thinking of a really cool feature that Sensi recently added, which was the shopping cart. The shopping the bag, car, shopping cart, yes. Not just the shareable part of it, but also the um, the email that we get when a customer hasn't, or no, 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 sorry, the email that they get yes. when a customer oh, yes. puts stuff in their shopping bag. Did you know that since he sends them an email, uh, they have a very specific time frame that they do this, but they send them an email and say, hey, did you forget? Have you ever done that with another site where you go shopping and then you leave, Target does it to me all the time. You, you abandon the cart. You've left something in your cart. Your yeah. cart wants you back. Like since yeah. he sends the same email to your customers, right? Well, without a website, since he ain't sending nothing to your customers, therefore not, they're not being reminded of what they are missing out on or what they were shopping for. Or, and Dan did, he did say at some point, I don't remember, I wish I had it written down, but he said that the... Um, completed carts that came after they they did that increased by I think at least 50 percent oh that's so cool right yeah well we're going back that. to their carts because people get sidetracked or whatever but they were going back to their carts and completing their purchases and that. so since he's really trying to again help us first of all make money but then also help our customers have the best experience so that um, you know, we're, we're still staying engaged as consultant to customer. Mm -hmm. Okay. So without a website, none of that would be possible. So, um, I did want to add though, while we're talking about the value of your website, let's like flip it and talk about if you did not have a website, um, you're truly capping your sales, right. For yeah. all these yeah. reasons listed, but then also think the only way that you would then be able to be getting PRV is 100% reaching out for orders. Yeah. Like that gives your customers zero opportunity to click your site and then go browse around and complete their order on their own time, right? You're then only allowing your customers to order by giving you an order, meaning you kind of have to be on all the time. And when you're sleeping, business is closed, right? With your website, when you're sleeping, People can still order. Yes. People can still join your team. People can still click around and learn more and browse and join club. Yep. When you don't have a website, when you go to bed, when you're not working your business, done. Yeah. You know? 
It's like and the closed sign is truly, on. Truly, your business yeah. is closed yeah. unless you are actively engaged in collecting orders like on, on your A game, yeah. right? So your website is truly doing the work when you're not, mm -hmm. you know? And so the value there as a consultant and for your customers is huge. Yeah. yeah. Huge. It's limitless. Limitless, baby. Limitless. Mm.